Is your business or home network suffering from internet downtime? In this video, I'll show you how to configure failover on a micro tick router using two internet connections. So if one fails, the other takes over automatically. Let's get started. Step 1. Connect both ISPs. First, connect ISP1 to Ether1 and ISP2 to Ether2 on your micro tick. Connect network switch, PC or laptop to Ethernet 3 and Ethernet 4. And follow the configuration steps. Step 2. Microtic configurations. Open Winbox and login to your Microtic router. After login to router OS. First go to bridge option from left side menu and add bridge. Now go to port tab and add Ethernet 3, Ethernet 4 and if WLAN support add WLAN to bridge. Now go to Interface and give a name to Ethernet 1 as Main Internet and Ethernet 2 as Backup Internet for easy identifications. Step 3 IP Address Configurations Now go to IP Address and press plus button to add new IP address. Select Interface Bridge for LAN IP address and configure LAN IP as per your network. Press Add button again and select Interface Main Internet and provide IP address as per your ISP or if using PPPoE or DHCP client configure same. Press Add button again and select Interface Backup Internet and provide Internet IP address for backup Internet line as per your Internet providers and apply OK button. Step 4 Route Configurations Go to IP and then Routes option from left side menu. Press plus button to add new route. Provide default gateway IP address for main internet line. Select distance 1 for set priority and apply OK settings. Press plus button again and provide default gateway IP address for backup internet line. Select distance 10 for set second or less priority and apply OK settings. Route 1 and Route 2 will show reachable if both internet line connected. Step 4, add DNS server. Go to IP and then DNS option and add primary DNS server and secondary DNS server and apply OK button. Step 5, set up DHCP server. Go to IP and then DHCP server. Press DHCP Setup button, choose Interface Bridge 1 and complete Setup Wizard. Step 6. Enable NAT. Go to IP and then Firewall. Go to NAT tab. Press plus button. Go to Action tab and select Masquerade. And apply OK settings. To confirm internet configuration, go to Terminal from left side menu and ping any domain or website. Step 6. Add NetWatch option to monitoring internet. Go Tools and the NetWatch option. Press plus button and add any route server IP address to keep monitoring internet up and down status to failover switch between main line and backup line. Create any comments to identification of up status and down status in reports. Configurations completed. Now let's test the failover. Connect laptop or PC using Ethernet 3 or Ethernet 4, or if Wi-Fi support connect from Wi-Fi. Now check internet and unplug Ethernet 1 or disable from settings, and then check internet should still working with backup line. That means failover working perfectly. Let's test it. Now we monitoring all speed test load going through main internet line. You can see traffic load. Let's test it. Now we monitoring all speed test load going through main internet line. You can see traffic load. Now disable or unplug Ethernet 1 cable and check all internet load should go through backup line without getting internet down and automatically failover switching from main internet to backup internet line. You can see now main internet line disable and internet still working and all traffic going through backup line. 
Now, forget downtime in your internet line. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe channel to get more videos. Thanks for watching.